Hey, how are you doing? It's me, Kevin Clark. It's a privilege and an honour to be here speaking to you at such a time as this. And the word vision springs to mind, which has basically brought me here to speak about vision. Okay, because without a vision, people perish. And when I say that I've had a vision for a few years now to do some great things I tell you the amount of discouragement that's come alongside it has just been something else there's been times when I've sat down and visualized my vision you know in so much detail and motion and then there's been another voice that says yes Kev but you need to be earning this amount of money and how possibly are you going to get such and such to work and just a lot of things that would go against the vision but I just want to say to you do you have a vision and if so what are you doing about the vision that you have have you written it down have you illustrated have you drawn pictures because I've realized that when you take things from the spirit realm like the thought and then you write it down what happens is you start to crystallize the very vision and it starts to become alive you're now birthing that vision and the more you can see your vision is the more you can pull it into existence like things that can help is like just getting a jotter a basic book and brainstorming like you could have if it was a school you could have the name of the school and draw a basic picture of the school and then around that picture you can have some lines and include things that you'd like to see in that school so if it's a place of um, training and a place for music and a, a place for academics um, a place for economics, a place for um, whatever. You can keep on adding them to like his spider chart, so to speak. And then keep it in front of you, keep it around you and keep speaking about it. And then what will you will find is your vision will start to come alive the more you start believing in the vision. Now if the vision's in line, I mean based upon your beliefs, you know, me basically... I, I'm an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to honour um, the Lord. He's my Lord and Saviour. Therefore, the kingdom of God is very important for me. And everything that I do needs to support that. So I want to make sure that I'm impacting territory um, by the ways of Christ. By, by living the ways that expect me to live and by walking the ways that expect me to walk. Um, and that's me. So everything that my vision is supporting is the kingdom of God so what I've done is I on my if you go to my website you'll see that I have a building a, a picture of a building you know it has a name the Liberty Center um, around it I've got pinpoints the Liberty Cafe economics sports activities for the youth now for many years I used to ponder on this vision I used to try things out. Things never used to work, go a certain way. But I realised that I was trying to do it in my own strength. I was calling on a lot of people um, that may not even necessarily have the same kind of ideas to support it. Didn't really believe in the vision. Um, I was trusting in flesh. I was trusting in myself. I was looking at building things my way rather than trusting, depending and relying on God to support the vision okay and there's a huge difference because you can only go so far and I know that when I started it out I was thinking on a level more time of but how am I going to make this work look how am I it was always how am I rather than consult with the master builder you know I wasn't relating with the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, help me with this. Holy Spirit, how can we? Holy Spirit, you know what? I'm struggling with this and I need some support and help. 
that wasn't going on at all very distant okay so if you know that God's given you if you just believe from the city of your soul yeah that God has given you a vision to do exploits then don't give up don't throw it away don't think how am I going to possibly do this don't look at the obstacles or don't look at the problems um, don't look at the size of the problem or the obstacle but look at the size of your God and continue to consult him about anything you are doing regarding the vision that you believe is given you and what he will do is he will continue to send people your way the right people you know but it's important at the same time that we are staying close to God by reading the word and communing with the person of the Holy Spirit so that uh, some someone false doesn't come in between the cogs you know and mess up things because the enemy likes to pervert always likes to pervert he'll send something which looks bigger and better than the original but really on the inside it's just empty and full of rubbish and the plan is to set you back to the point where he will try the enemy will try to use condemnation and bring it up into the forefront of your mind to put you off um walking in god's ways like you aren't worthy when in actual fact it's grace and faith that makes us able to fulfill anything in Christ because without faith it's impossible to please him right so that's very important well if we want to smooth a transition we must keep in close proximity with the Holy Spirit and that means we need to fellowship more we need to walk more pray and worship and just be in the presence of God more time that way the voice of God is much more clear crystal clear and we can hear the other voices which are not clear so the moment we know the voice of God is the more we know that our confidence is grown I mean if we know a person we know the characters because the Holy Spirit is a person yeah not something the Holy Spirit is a real person like we are people the Holy Spirit is a person who guides us into all truth he can search the archives of God's mind the Father right the Holy Spirit is the power when Jesus does something the Holy Spirit will manifest that very thing right the Holy Spirit is the power the one that rose Jesus from the dead the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit so you've got the Father yeah the boss delegator you've got the son the doer and you've got the Holy Spirit the only way you can get to the Father is through Christ Jesus yes you've got Father Son Holy Spirit Father Son which is Jesus Holy Spirit the person of the Holy Spirit yeah so the all one doing different things order we're dealing with right now yeah so to know the Father you've got to know the Son so it's important that you get that so your vision write it down make it plain make it plain you might have somebody walk up to you and say you know what what do you think you are doing what makes you think that you can accomplish that yeah? and sometimes those words can come from people that are super close to you but the key is again to believe in God his word his word is sure put your faith in God not man man will fail a lot of times people say that to you number one because they're jealous they're in some kind of like race with you they don't want to see you um, do something great which is a reflection of their insecurity yeah or that you know the enemy is just working through people to hinder if you're about winning souls glorifying God the enemy ain't gonna like that so the more we are confident in God like David in the Bible who conquered Goliath yeah regardless of the opposition yeah, the more we are confident don't throw away your confidence because you'll be richly rewarded that great vision that God has given you I tell you I, I, I share one thing with you um, 
when I had a near death experience, I realized that I had to, there was purpose on my life and I had to do something great. And at any cost, with the time that I have, which I'm blessed with, I must trust in God with everything in order to fulfill this vision, legacy, leaving a legacy that's going to bring people to the Lord on oh my days. When we've moved on, yeah, still our legacy is working and setting loads of people free on earth from the bondage of sin and death, hurt, pain, disease, all of that stuff. You know that pain? The enemy is like a roaring lion seeking to see who may devour. But Jesus Christ has paid the price, has conquered. Apply the blood of Jesus on everything that you do, on your family. The power is in the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. When Jesus shed his blood, he died and, and rose again. His blood, there's life in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and everything that you're doing. Over you and your family, your children's children, over your whole life, throughout generations upon generations, I believe that God will use you to do mighty exploits. Yes, write that vision down and make it plain. I speak healing over you and your whole family, over everything that you're doing. I believe in you 100%. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And I want to hear your testimonies as well. Get writing that vision out and stay close with God no matter what's going on. I don't care how much money you've got. Yeah, because it's not about that. Yeah, I don't care what's happened. You might have just lost your job. You might not even have one. Yeah, you might not even have the skills that you think you need in order to do what you need to do. There's people that have the skills. You can have this. You can get them skills. Yeah. God will deal with it. Just put it forward to him. Write out a plan. Just write it out. Pen, paper, pencil, paper, crayon, paper, whatever. On your phone. Just start typing it out. Start typing it out. Just keep on writing. Keep on writing it out. That dream. Keep on writing it out. Keep on writing it out. Does it line up? Has God given you this dream? Keep on writing it out. Don't watch anything else. Yeah, David used stones to conquer Goliath. Use your pen. Keep writing out your vision, that dream that you have. And when you're praising and worshipping, and giving God the glory, present it to him like, look, as I'm speaking to you, I'm seeing the vision that I have. And you know what? It's not for me, but it's for generations to come. A place where the youth can come, a safe place. Yeah, a safe place, a place where they can come and do great things, a place where grown adults can go to, where they can be safe. A place where people can come together and add value. A place where people can come together and build business. A place where people can come if they've got no food. Yeah? Shelter. A place where people can come for provision. And as a community, a group of people, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this together. So I'm really excited about you. And I would like you to stay connected with me. Subscribe. Click on the links in the description box to find out more. I'll leave a link in the description box to the website. Or to me, I'll leave contact details there. Don't look at the size of your problems. Look at the size of your God. Trust, believe in the word. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. If you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. If you confess from your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and rose from the dead, you will have everlasting life. Yeah, that's just believe that. So I love you and I look forward to connecting with you.
That's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. And remember, it's all about Jesus. Jesus is Lord. God bless. Thank you.